This is Kevin Mitnick. He likely holds the title of the world's best hacker ever. In fact, he was a hacker before computers were cool or mainstream. His first computer hack happened in the 1980s when he got into the North American Defense Command. In 1989, Kevin Mitnick hacked into the Digital Equipment Corporation to make copies of their software. He was jailed for 12 months plus a three-year supervised release, but being the bad boy that he is, he broke the three-year agreement when he famously hacked into Pacific Bell's voicemail system, just to prove that he could. Mitnick was eventually caught and made to serve five years in prison. He now runs the security firm Mitnick Security Consulting, LLC. Not bad for a hacker, huh? Shadow Crew was started by two individuals in the U.S. about a year before Albert Gonzalez's arrest. Albert Gonzalez. Albert Gonzalez. Another famous hacker we have to mention is Albert Gonzalez. He was very active on the criminal commerce site shadowcrew.com. At age 22, the government arrested Mr. Gonzalez because he was stealing debit card information. To avoid jail time, he collaborated with the government and helped indict dozens of Shadow Crew members. You'd think working with the Secret Service should make you avoid doing crime, right? Not Albert Gonzalez, though. Along with a group of accomplices, Gonzalez stole more than 180 million payment card accounts from companies like Office Max, Dave & Buster's, and Boston Market. He was eventually sentenced to 20 years in prison and is scheduled for release in 2025. Astra is a famous hacker who differs from others on the list because he has never been publicly identified. But some information has been released. Authorities apprehended Astra in 2008 and he was made to serve six years in prison. At that time, he was identified as a 58-year-old Greek mathematician. Reportedly, he had been hacking into the Dassault group for almost half a decade. During that time, he sold cutting-edge weapons technology software and data, which he then sold to 250 individuals worldwide. His hacking cost the Dassault Group 360 million in damages. No one knows why his complete identity has never been revealed and where he is now. We have another anonymous hacker on the list and their name is Anonymous. Anonymous is a hacktivist group. They're well known for carrying out high profile attacks. Actually, well known is an understatement. They're famous. The group originated on 4chan around 2003 and was associated with pranks and trolling until 2008 when they launched an attack on the Church of Scientology. They even launched an attack on the KKK, which saw them releasing identities and taking down their social media accounts. Anonymous is not an organization, and on this journey together, we may well change the world. Now let's talk about Gary McKinnon. According to U.S. prosecutors, this Scottish hacker was responsible for committing the biggest military computer hack of all time. He hacked into 97 U.S. military and NASA computers in 2002. He did some real damage to U.S. military infrastructure and left taunting anti-American messages on the computers. McKinnon has Asperger's syndrome, and when he was caught, he claimed that he was only looking for proof of UFOs. Despite all this, he was never convicted of a crime. The United Kingdom blocked his extradition to the U.S. to face criminal charges of up to 70 years in jail. 70 years! I am a hacker. Enter my world. That's a quote from a hacker named Lloyd Blankenship and a little thing he wrote in 1986 called the Hacker Manifesto. Lloyd Blankenship is one of the hackers that have seen the entire evolution of computers and hacking. He was a member of several hacker groups, including the infamous Legion of Doom. Lloyd now works at a computer and network security company. The Hacker Manifesto has become sort of a cultural reference that has been found on plenty of hacking-related websites and in pop culture. It even made an appearance on a poster in the 2010 film The Social Network. Some of these top hackers aim to make the world a better place, others to prove UFO theories. Some wanted money and others hoped for fame. But you cannot deny the fact that these hackers influence cybersecurity big time. If you like this video, check out a video we made on the biggest data breaches in history. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly content.